Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today we are looking at 80 rated Thorgan Hazard. Yes, a Hazard in form, but not the right Hazard. He's got 78 pace, 80 shooting, 80 passing, 84 dribbling and 65 physical. He's got high attacking work rates with medium defensive. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. He's a very good player, frankly. I, I always liked his 78 rated regular card. I mean, it wasn't very good. But I always had great results with him. But this striker card is A1, frankly. He's so good at just creating chances. He's moderately quick. He can shoot. I don't necessarily like his finishing, but he can dribble. He doesn't have skill moves, obviously. And he's a great passer of the ball. And you would look at this card and think, well, with that 80 passing, you could definitely bring him into the midfield. And because of his finishing being so low, that would definitely be a good option. But now let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got pretty good ball control at 78. Okay, crossing at 77. Great dribbling at 86. Now that finish I talked about being at 78, not the best. 75 free kick accuracy, 75 long passing, 81 short passing, and 82 shot power. Now looking at his physical stats, doesn't have the best attack and positioning at 81. He's got okay acceleration at 79 with 76 sprint speed. Horrible strength at 58. But I thought because of his high agility at 87 that that did not really matter. But now let's move on to some highlights. As we can see, he picks the ball up inside the box, gets in. He doesn't quite put it away. It's a good chance, not a great chance. And that's what I felt was really the story of this guy was that he created a lot of chances, but his finishing was a little lackluster. There were a lot of saves from the goalkeeper, this and that. Not too many misses. This was one of his nicest goals. Little stop, lovely ball roll, bang. Yes, if he had four-star skill moves, he'd be frankly unstoppable. But let's talk about what I did like about him. I loved his ability to make chances. His movement was just through the roof, frankly. He was always running here, running there. He was just, he was just a really good player. I was surprised at how good of a player he was. And frankly, the one little thing that I didn't like about him was that I thought his finishing was a little lackluster. I just thought that there were a lot of chances that he should have scored if he wanted to be a really good player. I mean, this is a good chance. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, he gets into a good position, good left foot. You know, he can shoot right foot, left foot. That's not really an issue. But like there, you know, he, he gets into a great opportunity and he, I just wish he'd put this away. I mean, and here we start seeing clips of, you know, good chances that he's just not putting away. But... His ability to get by defenders, not necessarily with skill moves, but his just, just regular dribbling with his high agility and high dribbling just made him such a good player to use. And I'll definitely be using him again. And he was one of those players that, you know, you're just kind of surprised at, frankly. I mean, he's probably going to be around a discard value player. Uh, you know, he's a little bit more expensive now, but, you know, he's only just come out in packs and whatnot. And he goes on a great run there and he just can't quite put it away. But... I started thinking that maybe playing him at centre forward or maybe even a cam and just kind of using him for his passing ability would make, you know, such a good option. But the thing that was really irritating was that he was always was getting into great positions. But that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter at Fever Wisdom and make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'm out. Bye bye.